Hi guys, it's Gina. Um, today I wanted to do a little apartment build because I did not feel like doing landscaping. Um, so I did the thing that I think Kayla started it, at least that's who I saw it do it first, um, where you split an apartment into two, so it's kind of like two apartments. Um, so you have that like little lobby area with like the two different doors. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I didn't really have Sims in mind for this. I just wanted to make two small apartments. I'm actually not really sure <laughs> how much this apartment is. I set it so my Sim only had, um, well, it was 21,000 after buying the actual apartment, but somehow it ended up being over 22,000 when I uploaded it to the gallery, which was weird because I only... I, like, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> um, so this was made for two sims. Obviously, you could have more than two sims. You could have four sims in this apartment. Um, there's two double beds. Um, again, I didn't really have any specific sims in mind, but there are um, skill building items in each apartment. And this one right now, this is what I was calling apartment number one. Um, there is... A guitar that ends up being a guitar and an easel and obviously like a bookshelf um, I think that I think that's all I put in in this in this apartment for skill building um, so yeah we're working on the bathroom I thought it would be fun because there's no like child's room so I didn't need a bathtub to use that university shower for um, their cleaning apparatus. <laughs> um, and I realized when I was doing this build that I um, was jumping around to each room a lot and putting down the main items and then going back and like decorating and adding more. I didn't realize that's how I decorated in The Sims. Like I didn't realize that's how I built. I thought I would just do one room and then move on to the next room and then move on to the next room. But building by placing the main items down makes me feel like better about the build. It makes it more filled out so I'm less likely to abandon it midway through, if that makes sense. Um. And we've gotten all the main furniture down in the first apartment, so now I'm just working on the second apartment. I kept the same um, items in the bathroom and the kitchen because in an apartment building, you are likely to have the same counters, sinks, refrigerator, um, because generally apartments have those when you move in. So I decided to just keep them the same. Um... The build that I uploaded to, when I uploaded this to the gallery, it's a little bit changed because I realized that the cost was not correct, so I ended up deleting a few things, but, um, so the, the kitchens change around. I think I delete, like, a counter or something, um, and that's pretty much it, though. Like, I liked the apartments too much to delete anything, and they're still reasonably priced, so... I kept everything. <laughs> um, I think it ends up, when I posted it to the gallery, I think it was 22700 and change. Um, this is apartment, what I'm calling number two. Um, I did put stuff for a cat in this apartment. Um, you could obviously always change it to a dog. Oh, my, and... That when I was doing this, I did not realize, how did that happen? That the outside wallpaper got deleted and you can't change it back. So I had to take out a full wall and then put it back in. I didn't know that was a glitch. Unless it's just my game that's doing that, which is fun. <laughs> that would be fun. Um, and then I'm adding some brick accent walls right now. Uh, it was hard for this apartment. I couldn't figure out where I wanted the brick walls because I felt like if I added them here along that exterior wall that it was just too much brick and then ugh, it was it was hard. I was having a time. I end up liking apartment two better in the end uh, than I like apartment one. 
But I still think it would be fun to play um, with Sims in both apartments. In this, in apartment two, there's that flower arranging area in terms of a like skill building. Obviously like a mirror, but I don't really count that because I put them in builds all the time. <laughs> um, and I think that's it for skill building. Obviously there's a bookshelf and then the cat stuff, so I guess you could consider the pet training a skill, but it's not an item, so. Um, yeah. And now we're just putting some decorations around, starting to decorate. The rugs in this room gave me such a hard time. Like, this was the perfect sized rug, but they didn't have a swatch that I liked, and then I decided I was going to use these, like, mats from Laundry Day, and then I wanted this rug, and then it didn't it just wasn't like thick enough and then it was too long when I sized it up and I just couldn't find a rug. It took me forever to find a rug. I end up going for this rug, changing the bed color um, and then I never used this like green swatch so I ended up using the green swatch. Um, another complaint I would like to make is that cheap art, Where where is the cheap art in this game? Where is the good looking cheap art? Um, it's nowhere to be seen. It's, uh, interesting, I guess, to say the least. I remember trash cans this time, though, so, <laughs> uh, that's, you know, step up. We're remembering things. <clears throat> I initially go in the bathrooms with this blue and black, like, wallpaper tile, um, I end up changing it towards the end because I just think it's too dark. Like, the rest of the apartment's tones as far as wallpaper and flooring are pretty warm. So, I felt like it was, like, a weird contrast to just walk into the bathroom and it's really dark and blue and cool toned. So, I change it to, uh, it's the same wallpaper, but it's the white and the yellow. Like, you'll see when I get there. Um, yeah, and now I'm at a point where I'm just going back and forth between the apartments and finding little things to decorate, uh, with, and try not to go over budget, <laughs> which I ended up doing anyway somehow. Um, also, funny story, when I was, I use OBS to record, and when I was recording this, um, I, you know, thought I was recording, and then afterwards I went to stop the recording and then it said stop stream so the joke here is that I streamed the whole thing no overlays no camera no microphone nothing and I just streamed 45 minutes of me silently building this so <laughs> Um, a couple people brought it to my attention. I ignored their messages because I, that it didn't happen. I'm, it didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. That didn't happen. Um, I do end up placing some brick wall, walling, wall, whatever, on, um, the wall behind this bed. Uh, I really wanted to use that hanging plant thing from Tiny Living, but I couldn't find a place to put it, and I feel like it's normal size, it's just way too small. Um, so I was really struggling for like cheap decorating things without going into debug. I didn't use debug for this apartment, so I was I was really hurting. Um, I end up going into the wall sculptures and finding like these little ivy things. I think they're from Seasons, I'm not really sure. Yeah, these, and I know that they look like arts and crafts because they probably are arts and crafts, but I liked that that was the look. Like, it kind of looks like you went to, like, Target or Walmart and got, like, fake, like, noticeably fake ivy and hung it up. Like, I didn't want it to look real. Um, I don't know. Some people might think it's tacky, but I think it makes the story in the apartment better. I don't know how to phrase what I'm saying. These paintings did not realize they were $200 each. That's incredibly uh, steep for a stupid little square painting and dumb, and that was dumb, and it was stupid, and I just wanted everyone to know that I don't think those should be 200 Simoleons, why? Dumb, idiotic. I'm deleting out the little small tiny lights because 
I'm switching them out for the bigger ones. They're easier to click on if you want to change the brightness. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to the second apartment, trying to decorate things. Um, couldn't figure out what to do. I ended up going with some fairy lights. And then um, I think that's from Realm of Magic, that little like sage spice hanging thing. I don't know. And then I wanted a rug for like the entranceway uh, and I couldn't find one. Well, I, it's not that I couldn't find one because I could have placed one. Um, I ran out of money, so I went back and deleted some things, which I'm starting to do now, um, so that I could afford a rug, and then I forgot that I wanted to afford a rug, and I started putting in different decorations in the first apartment. Ah, why did I do that? I... I don't have a reason. I, I don't have a reason for it. I just, <laughs> I said, oh, more money, and then just added more things to the apartment instead of doing what I wanted to do. It's fine. That's how I build. It's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is pretty much how the apartment ends up at the end. I go in and add a pride flag. I couldn't decide which pride flag I wanted. Um, I went with the pansexual, and I changed it to... Um, the trans one, and then I was like, mm, I don't want to. I don't want to write a narrative for people living here, so I just put it as the regular pride flag, and that is about it. Um, I will be streaming on Twitch tonight, probably around eight Eastern Standard Time, so catch me there. Um, yeah, and screenshots are coming up. See you guys later. Bye.